Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks in order to troubleshoot funnel issues within your ClickFunnels account because you're gonna run into issues. I can promise you that. And then you're gonna try and reach out to support and they're not gonna reply back to you for six hours or longer. And you're gonna to wanna to punch your computer. And hopefully this video will help alleviate or help you identify a couple common errors that will throw you off completely. Now, of course, obviously you need to make sure like your, your payment accounts are properly connected. If you're doing SMTP stuff, make sure that's properly connected. And I mean, obviously the basics need to be set up, right? You need to have your pages and your buttons linked and all that other stuff. So assuming all that, and you still have some random issues that like for this, like the sake of you, you could not figure out to save your life. Hopefully what I'm about to show you can help get you in the right direction while you wait for ClickFunnels support to finally reply to you because they'll take forever. And I don't blame them. They have a complicated tool with lots of issues that could appear. But anyway, so for this first troubleshooting tactic, I'm gonna go into one of my funnels real quick that's having an issue. And I'm gonna to go to my order form. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up. And it's the the dreaded, the dreaded, dreaded uh, issue where you try and submit a payment and it doesn't work, right? That's highly frustrating. So we come in here, we fill everything out like we think we're supposed to. We hit this submit button and it just says submitting. And it says submitting, you wait a minute or whatever. You go back, you make sure you filled out all these fields on the front end. Uh, you make sure everything looks right, right? You don't see any issues. And ClickFunnels doesn't give you any, any tips of what the issue might be. So that's annoying. So you come back over here and a couple things you wanna check of course or to make sure your on submit go to um, option is blank or has some accurate information on it. So go into your settings, general, and make sure on submit go to is blank or is actually directing to the correct page. So I've seen this mess up people before, like they might have like a pound sign or something in there and that's gonna mess things up. So you wanna make sure that that's empty. And uh, you also probably wanna check your code Make sure you don't have any crazy code in here that might be messing up your form. None of this stuff is advanced, so that should not be messing up my form. Of course, you need to make sure your payment processor is connected and everything else. So you can do that by creating a brand new funnel that's you know basic, make sure you could run through that. Or if you're not having any other issues on any other funnels with your payments and it's just this one funnel, then you know, um, some, something's not right. You know your payment processor works and something else is the issue. So let's go in here. So this this works on this error, but it could likely work on other errors where things get stuck. So what you wanna do is, at least in Chrome, I think Edge and Firefox and Safari probably, they all got this same type of thing. But we wanna go ahead and inspect. And we wanna go to console here. And we can see now we got some, some error message type stuff going on here. Okay, so let me, let me just refresh my page so we can kind of watch it from scratch. So we see all this stuff loading up and we got some red stuff here. So uncaught integration error can only create one element of a type card number. So that kind of gives us a, a hint. One element of type card number. So credit card number. So we come over here, we only have one credit card number field, it looks like, right? So, but let's go look at our page and edit it real quick. And I only see one credit card field. I could come over and double check my elements real quick, manage, see if anything's hidden. Maybe I have a hidden field. Okay, that's not credit card information. That one's not. So I look at all my hidden stuff, look for any hidden fields. Um, and then I can come over to mobile settings real quick and look at this. I got a credit card field here and another credit card or two-step order form here. So I have two st two two-step order forms on my funnel. So that's probably messing things up. One's in one one's in desktop only or mobile only view. So if I come over here to sections manage, um, let's see here. So if I click on this one, we see that this is mobile only. So if I switch it over to all, I'll switch it so we can see everything. 
So basically I have cloned a section that has my credit card field. And so let me go ahead and delete this section out of here. Now there's other things I could do to make it, you know, do what I want, but obviously I had two order forms on the page, two credit card field boxes on the same page. And based off of the text of that error, something about having two card number fields, I could kind of narrow in and figure out what's going on. So you could go ahead and if you're having issues with stuff being stuck, pop open your console. Again, it's inspect and then go to your console and look for something that's red. And hopefully it gives you some sort of description of what is wrong. Like maybe there's two fields in this case or I, I don't know what other errors there might be, but it might pop something up and give you a hint of what could be stuck. And so, of course, this is hard to find uh, naturally. Like I, I sat for like three hours trying to figure out why my freaking order form wouldn't go through. I, I hit my desk. I did all that stuff. Okay, and then I was like, huh, and noticed this console thing and saw this credit card thing, and I was like, oh. And, of course, ClickFunnels support didn't reply ever. So, if I go now and test my funnel again, let's see, I saved it, console's up, I'm not getting any red errors, so that looks good. So, let's see if I can go through, and still no error messages popping up. And complete order, submitting, and it looks like it's loading. So boom, there we go. We went through uh, my funnel there. So that's, again, one way you could do it, looking at the console that can help you identify errors, basically when things are stuck. Another error that I've seen a bunch of times that'll drive you absolutely insane has to do with page paths. Uh, page paths or step paths, your variant path or your funnel path. Like, if you have... Like, there should only be this path one time in your entire ClickFunnels account, okay? You should have no other shoes order path in your entire account anywhere or things will break. Um, so, for example, if I came over here and I created a new funnel here, add new funnel and create new funnel and I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't matter, shoes break. So I come in here and I'm gonna to go to my settings up in here and I'm gonna choose my domain and I'll choose, what was it? Shoes order. So I'm gonna choose shoes order and paste that in here. Shoes order and save and update settings. And I'm gonna look at my URL here and we see ClickFunnels let me put shoes order as my page path for my funnel. And I also have it as my path over here as well. So that's gonna cause some conflicts. Um, which conflicts is, gonna, is it gonna cause? Well, for one, this new funnel probably will never load. So I'll be trying to look at this page over here, but I'm seeing a different page and I can't figure out why the heck I'm not seeing the correct page. So let me just put this template in place. And so what I'm thinking is if I go to this URL my sh shoes order URL, it should redirect to this step here and load up this page. And so if I go and I run it, and it brings me to do my order form, which is in my other funnel, right? It's bringing me to this order form over here instead of my other page that I just set up uh, over here. So even though it's the same page path, and it, you would think it would redirect, but Hopefully you're seeing what I'm saying. Basically I have two of the same page paths and ClickFunnels are gonna pick one of them. So if you're having an issue where you're trying to see this page right here but you're not seeing this page, it's likely because you have some sort of page path issue. So let me see. Sometimes it'll even let you rename step paths too. So let's see, shoes order. Let's see if it'll stick. Shoes order. All right, so sometimes it adds some extra characters to your path so that way you don't run into these errors. But as you can see, when I set my funnel path, it did not add any special characters to where, you know, it would not cause this error. So just something to be mindful of. If you think you should see one page, but you're seeing another page, you likely have a page path issue. 
and click funnels is you know only referencing one page path and not the other one so i've run into that issue many times and also sorry to keep going but this can apply to archive funnels so if you, a funnel is archived with whatever page path like for example like maybe you have a contact us page path right that's a pretty common page path to have is contact us and so you build it you and then you're like oh, I'm going to redesign my website or whatever and so you archive that funnel but that contact us page path uh, was still in that archived funnel well that that's still going to be the page path that's like referenced and so like it's going to like pull your archive funnel page path instead of your new page path or also if you are getting crazy characters at the end of your page paths it's because that page path is already taken and it might be sitting in an archive funnel somewhere so you need to go to that archive funnel restore it change the page path so that way you can get the page path you want so that's another issue that can be popping up is if you have crazy characters popping up it's because that page path is already in use and you need to go change that other one back to the video so you would need to come in, restore your archive funnel, go into it, uh, change out your page paths. So shoes break, you'd have to come in here and you'd have to go in and change out your page path so that way it doesn't mess up your funnel anymore and so on. So I know that this was a lot of information uh, about page pass and everything, but I've seen this error happen, you know, way too many times uh, with, you know, client accounts, my own account, and being like, why are paid, why is the wrong page showing up? And if the, if you're having that issue, it's a page path issue. And it might be because your funnel's in the archived and you need to pull it out, change your page path, etc. So, yeah, the, of course, make sure the rest of all your other settings are in place properly, but those are two like tips or strategies for really frustrating errors that you, you that you have no like guidance on, um, because like yeah, when your order form doesn't go through, that is highly frustrating. It could be like dang near impossible to figure out. So hopefully that console uh, will help you figure that type of error out. And then if you if you think one page should load but another page is loading instead, then you likely have a page path issue and you need to troubleshoot that. Hopefully this video is helpful and saves you a headache or two or three or four. I know th that it's helped me at least these, these strategies, so hopefully they help you, and thank you. Have a great day.